What is up everyone? Happy Monday. This is Michael and I'm back with your latest weekly intention. Now, last week we talked about fear, one F word. This week we're actually going to talk about another F word and that is focus. I am so stoked to talk about focus because I know just looking at champions or looking at anybody who's achieved anything great in life, they all have one thing in common and that is they have been able to lock in and keep a high level of focus on exactly what they want. Now I'm going to break this down into three sections today, starting off with number one, bad forms of focus, going to go into good forms of focus and then we're going to finish it up with a couple of ways that you can actually increase focus in your life. So a couple of exercises, a couple of things that you can do in your day to day to help you lock in higher forms of focus. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the reason I'm starting this thing off with bad forms of focus is because it's physically impossible for us to focus on what we want and what we don't want at the same time. So we really have to nip those things out before we can focus on the good things. And a couple of things that come to mind right off the bat are people's opinions. Now, this is so critical, guys, because if you want to achieve anything good in life or you want to make big moves, chances are not everybody is going to understand that. So if you are waiting for somebody else to get their blessing in order to lock in, in order to make things happen, you're going to be waiting a long time. You have to be able to trust yourself. You have to be able to focus on the path, knowing that your path is going to be different than others. So that's number one. Number two, the thing behind me. TV and social media can be great tools. I'm doing this, I'm putting this out there to everybody on social media. There's a number of different ways that we can you know, use these platforms for good. But the second we start allowing our phone or the TV or media or anything like that to control our day, that's gonna actually pull and hurt our focus. So mitigating the amount of time that we're actually spending on these platforms and looking at these screens is gonna help us lock in focus. And then lastly, and I think that this is absolutely a huge one, is wasting time spending every day focused on the things that we can't control or the things that we do not want out of life. How am I supposed to focus on the good path and getting to where I want to go if I'm too busy stuck in the past, focused on the things that I can't control and focusing on the bad in my life? So we have to be able to be able to split that line in the sand and say, hey, I'm not going to worry about these things and I'm going to focus on the good things in life, which actually brings us up to our next topic, focusing on the good. Good forms of focus. I'm very pumped to talk about this because this is actually where we're going to be able to push that focus in the right direction. So if bad forms of focus are focused on the things that we cannot control, social media, all these things that pull from the present, you guessed it. The best form of focus is focusing on the present and what I can control right here, right now. There's no way that I can worry about next week or the week after. I can have a plan and a plan is always great, but the only thing that I can actually control is this moment right here, right now. So number one, focusing on the journey and making sure that I'm focused on the actual path that I'm on and not worrying about the, you know, the past, the future, or anything like that. And then number two, using that focus to remember that it is a journey. That's, that's the whole point of life is getting 1% better every single day. So focusing on the tasks that I can control right now, right here, is going to allow me to be more present and allow you to be more present and be extremely focused on the task at hand, thus helping you increase your focus and be on the right line. So that is number two. And lastly, what I'm going to get into is how we can improve focus. Now, it's not always easy to have good forms of focus because we do have distractions. We do have things going on in our life. And let's face it, life can be extremely stressful. So with all the stresses in our day to day and everything going on, how can I mitigate that stress? How can I improve my focus? So there are a couple of ways that we can actually improve focus. And number one is remembering that focus starts in the mind. The brain is part of our body and just like everything else, we have to feed it the right things in order for it to work properly. So a couple of things that I do in my day to day that seem to work pretty well are remembering that you need to have routines and you need to take care of yourself. If I'm not sleeping, I'm not getting enough rest, I'm not having enough water intake, I'm eating like shit, 
I'm not exercising, I'm not feeling good in my body, chances are my focus is going to be off. Any great athlete will tell you that their diet, their routine, their exercise, everything that they're doing their day to day is extremely critical and then being able to focus on the task at hand. So that's number one and that's huge before anything else. And number two is an exercise that I've actually learned from a man named John Asaroff and it's called AYA. So it stands for awareness, intention, and action. So like I had mentioned, we all have periods where we're extremely stressed out in our day to day and things you know, get the best of us. And it's hard to set good focus when I'm stressed out. So something that I've learned to do is doing this exercise anytime I'm stressed to get myself back on the good focus track. So number one, awareness is just taking six deep breaths into your nose and then out through your mouth very, very slowly to calm the mind. And every breath is reminding yourself what you want to breathe in. So I want to breathe in focus, intention, gratitude, whatever it might be. And then breathing out is breathing out the stress, anything that is affecting us in a negative light. So I start and I do that. Now that I'm back at a center field and I'm able to not have that you know large amount of stress on my plate, I can set a new intention. What do I want to attack? What am I after? What am I trying to accomplish? Get myself re-locked in. And then number three, action. Now that I have calmed myself down, I've reminded myself of what I want, I can now get back on the right path of focus on the thing that I actually am trying to achieve. Now, I know that was a lot, guys. This one was very, very important to me. It's something that I've noticed is affecting a lot of people. So hopefully that helps you. And until next week, this is Michael with Weekly Intention. Take care.